Welcome to another edition of Get Victory. I'm Ed Crenshaw, pastor of Victory Church, Philadelphia, and we're honored that you have joined us for this moment of encouragement. Hi, my name is Jason Necklin, the executive pastor at Victory Church, and today I want to share with you a moment of encouragement. You know, this season of life is, is a difficult one, and it's, it's not been easy. And, and one thing I want to remind you of today is that there's power in community, power in being with other people, even if we can't be right next to other people. You know, there's proof of, of, of how powerful a community can be kind of over my shoulder there. That picture is from the moment that the Eagles won the Super Bowl, and I was excited. I, I can remember thinking, boy, what if I wasn't around people to, to share this with? How would it, what would it have been? What would it have been like? What if I was in a different city or a different state or a different country and, and experienced this? Well, yes, it still would have been, it still would have been good. It still would have been good. The, the, the fact that the Eagles, the Eagles won. But what made it even better was being surrounded by people who, who, who also were fans of the Eagles, who also were, were rooting for the same thing that I was rooting for. It made that situation from being good and being a great situation to being a, a very memorable experience, one that I wanted to take a picture and hang and hang on my wall. And, and, and that's the power of community. It takes a situation, it takes a great situation, it can make it even better by being around people who enjoy those same things. And, and see, as fans, our support goes to a team. But as Christians, right, we're called to love God and to love other people. That's the most important thing that we can do. And, and in Romans uh, chapter 12, there's a passage starting with verse 9 called Love in Action. And it kind of talks about all these different ways uh, that, that we can love people and help people. And, and, and one of the things that stood out to me was verse, especially in this season, was verse 15 of of Romans chapter 12. It says, Rejoice with those who rejoice and mourn with those who mourn. You see, just as you can make a great situation, uh, uh, the best situation ever, the most memorable situation, because you're rejoicing with other people, sometimes those lows and those valleys where we're mourning can actually be made a little bit better by having people surrounding us and with us that are are willing to be there with us and willing to kind of share those same feelings with us. You know, how many times maybe have, have you been picked up by, 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 by a friend or maybe encouraged to keep going, keep striving because somebody was standing to the left and to the right of you, kind of in that same mindset of you kind of moving forward. Maybe you felt better after someone called you, you weren't feeling great, you had a real bad day and somebody just called you and just brightened your day up. See, that is the power of community. And in this season, if we take the time and, and, and sincerity, not just to just kind of float along and say, oh, things are great, things are great, things are great, but actually identify with, 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 the, with the tone of the season. That, that is it's not good. People are out of jobs. People are, are hurting right now. And, and we, we have an opportunity as a community to be there with them, to mourn with them, and to pick people up and to help pe- remind people and show people the love of God and love in action. Love in action isn't just rejoicing. It's also morning with those. And I want to encourage you today, maybe you're, in, you're not uh, in a position to rejoice. Maybe you're in positions to, to mourn right now. Things are just not going very, very well. One of the great things that we can do right now in that situation is to, to surround ourselves with, with, with people who can help us through that situation, who can be there with us, who can mourn with us, who can be in this season with us to help put, get us to the next step and, and make that low, not as low through community. I would encourage you uh, to connect with others. You can connect at Victory Church very easily by being part of a life group. If you go to getvictory.net slash groups, there's a ton of life groups to be a part of where, where you can connect with people who love God and love other people and are willing to rejoice and, and share those highs with you, make those highs even better and willing to make those lows and those difficult times more bearable because you're around people, because you're surrounded by people who love you and who love Jesus. Let me pray for you right now. Lord, we thank you so much uh, that you are present in this season, Lord, that you're present in the highs and you're present in the lows. And you've surrounded us with people who can help us to get through these difficult times. Lord, we pray that you'd send the people into the, the lives of people who are mourning right now, Lord, who can not only mourn with them, but who can, who can help encourage them and help show that power that you've created with being together. Lord, we just thank you so much for what you're doing. Lord, we pray blessings on everybody watching this. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you. I trust this word has been a source of strength and comfort. During this trying time, our church is bringing you these words every day, Tuesday through Saturday. Also, you can join us online for interactive live stream services throughout the day and evening on Sunday, starting at 9 a.m. and then on Monday at 7 p.m. You can find the links to all the online resources to stay connected as God's family at getvictory.net. Until next time, let's stay in God's presence and peace.